Hello everyone, welcome to another LD's Pocket Knives. Uh, Darren here today, just doing a few things. Um, got the uh, Zippo lighter the other day and I sort of half showed you all. So I've been busy, made my first little slip. I think it came out pretty good. You saw I got the uh, leather stuff the other week. So I'm pretty happy with that. And here is the Zippo I got the at the weekend and it has a kiwi on it solid brass so that's what we had in the packet the other day and to protect that little kiwi it slips back in here just nicely so that's pretty cool you can see some color there so that was that uh, and also as far as the um, the axe head from the other day there we go um, we're going to do a handle on that so I thought I would do is just show you some of the handles that I've done on some different things over the years um, more than this stack here but what we have is um, so that's a handle, that's just an engineer's ball peen that I use quite regularly, but I actually made that handle out of a piece of uh, she-oak. As you can see, it's not your standard shape. Um, so we shaped that up. I think this head originally had a fiberglass handle. Uh, this is another handle I've made, and this time around I, I basically copied the original handle except I made it a little thinner in here and a little fraction longer um, just because that's what I wanted and this hammer here actually probably gets more use than any other hammer of mine at work uh, and this one here was a carpenter's hammer and the purpose of this is for shrinking aluminium panels um, so it's a panel beater style hammer and with that single point it's what it's what you use for shrinking and it's um, based around uh, probably loosely based around a tool from snap-on that kind of looks about the same as this so again that's a pretty weird handle but it's sort of designed to go in under fenders and around well not around corners but in around curves and get into harder to reach places to to pin dents out and this bad boy here this was an eight pound sledgehammer which uh, i completely reworked a few years back and um it did at one point have quite a high polish on it but again it's uh just sort of starting to look like a normal hammer again so I fully reshaped this and turned it into a cross peen it was just a standard sledgehammer handle sorry sledgehammer head um, and it was not a great one it was all out of square just a cheaper one um, yeah completely out of shape out of square all sorts and I did the uh, basically the same process on this as what you saw in the axe video the, hatchet video uh, and it's had a beating and this is a uh, solid it's a English oak handle and um, although it looks like that grain is going the wrong way it isn't and um, I actually pressed this in with our oh, probably, probably easy 20 ton press and I, I did actually put it put it on the press table like that and press down on it to try and shear it across there because that's what it looks like it would do, but it didn't. Um, so yeah, I basically basically tried to break this, and it, and it won't work. It doesn't happen. So that's um, that's one of my main hammers for uh, sort of blacksmithing forging work. Um, and of course, it's the the right length for me maybe just a fraction shy maybe an inch shorter than it should be but it's pretty good 
to this one and this one here started out looking like a ball peen hammer like that a little smaller and this is a uh, german style cross peen hammer again or straight peen it might be can't remember now one way or the other it's either a cross pin or a straight pin and that little handle on there is also the same uh it's actually out of the same log as this piece so you can see the difference in the in the grain this one sort of looks like something out of um some sort of digi digi camo type pattern or something like that with the little squares and detail in that grain so yeah i just sort of share with you a few of these handles uh hammers things the zippo and the leather slip for it um yeah that was it really just those few things and um we'll try and get a bit going on on the handle for this this week uh we'll see how we go so yeah no worries we'll um see you next time